so that that was definitely that was my kind of takeaway from the season that beating Ferrari was such a tough such a tough thing to do. Um, I mean, I, I think you know more people will have watched European Le Mans series through you know Michael Fassbender Road to Le Mans YouTube series than 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 ever before. I think it's exposed the series to a whole new audience. I mean, every episode of Michael Fassbender Road to Le Mans YouTube is getting multiple million views mm. on release and then more um, watched on demand later. So I think that's fantastic. Um, and I think the only thing is I- I'm so glad that the, you know, the, the trio, the family, Richard Leitz, Felipe Lazar and, and Michael Fassbender got their podium before, unfortunately, circumstances have, have transpired that have basically prevented Felipe from continuing that journey. And that, of course, the last leg of the road to Le Mans you know, racing in the Le Mans 24 hours, it was just as big of a dream for Felipe Lazar to race at Le Mans as it was for uh, Michael Fassbender. But it's it, it's it's a real pity, Haley, that Felipe is not going to be in the car in 2022. Yeah, absolutely. Because I think of all that investment, all that time, um, you know, how he really, he really served as a coach to Michael. I, I always kind of see it as Leeds being the bigger brother, the calmer, you know, the the, the very um, the wiser <laughs> one. And then you've got Philip Laza and Fassbender, and they really made this fantastic trio, very complimentary. Mm. Um, and I think you're absolutely right. He must be gutted um, to obviously, you know, to lose his silver status, go be upgraded to a gold. Uh, but what, of course, that means is that, you know, it has to be replaced by um, a silver subsequently. Um, we will be seeing him this weekend, um, as you know, uh, as you know. So it's not, you know, all bad news. He will be um, driving the Michelin Le Mans Cup with Klaus Ablen. So, you know, we will be seeing him. Um, or unfortunately, he won't be in uh, the RSL 19 um, alongside Michael and Ricard. Um, but I'm just going to go back on what you said about Ferrari. I think it's an important point to kind of bring up the fact that they have got, you know, I think you said well-resourced and I think that's a perfect phrase that kind of define exactly um, the, the Ferrari, especially with Iron Lynx um, and Iron Dames. I mean, we know how effective and how important it is um, for Iron Dames, for example, to kind of really invest in female motorsports. And I think it's fantastic, as you do. You know, I think we all um, very much agree on that. But, you know, it, it, they do have a bigger budget, clearly. I mean, you compare them to someone like JMW um, Motorsport, who don't have the same means and don't have, won't have the same testing, won't be able, you know, with regards to budget, with tyres and all this kind of stuff. They don't have, you know, um, the time and the the money as well to kind of invest as much as Iron Iron Lynx and Iron Dames have. Um, so, yeah, I think that's an, that was an important point to, to bring up with regards to that. Um, but then, uh, yeah, I mean, just looking again at, at this year's lineup and this year's um, entry list, um, we will be seeing, uh, contrary to um, Rahel Frey, what, uh, Rahel Frey, sorry, despite going down to uh, moving up to gold, she will be um, sitting um, in the Iron Lynx car again because let's not forget Sarah Bovey um, is only a bronze driver. <laughs> Yes, and you know, when I think, and I was actually looking back and watching Road to Le Mans, and I saw some of her fantastic driving. Um, yeah, I mean, they've got three fantastic drivers in the car, and the fact that Sarah Bovi is um, only a bronze, it did mean that Rahel is able to to stay in the car um, because, of course, Mich- Michelle Getting is a silver. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I have no, there's no kind of. I'm not being negative. There's no negativity at all in what I'm saying. I'm just saying that Rahel Fry was pretty much on the same level as Felipe. And there were a lot of battles subsequently yeah, was, between them yeah. over the course of the year in the LMS, which was, you know, great watching. Thank you to both of you. Um, and, um, and yeah, but I'm just trying to kind of explain why sometimes it doesn't matter, i.e. in Rahel's situation, but where it does matter is in Felipe's um, situation. And it did, does mean him losing a seat to Zachary Robichon. <laughs> yes. And, and that is, uh, and certainly as far as the, the, the 93 crew are concerned, Zach is a very, uh, he is, uh, he has certainly won one. I think he would even say so himself. He is what has been now known as a super silver. So right up <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah, um, you know, Zach is, he, he he doesn't make his living from racing. He uh, he do, he has his own 
um, sort of experiential uh, car uh, coaching business. So they do like driving experience days for like Porsche Canada and lots of other premium brands in Canada does coaching and stuff like that. Very much like what Felipe does as a day job is coaching, you know, not written, they're not coaching racing drivers. Most of the time they're coaching, you know, uh, private clients who have come to maybe bought a, bought a 911 and they get an experience day with that car. So they're very similar in that case, but results wise, and this is something we'll, we'll come on to talk about Philippe in a second, but Zachary Robichon, you know, he's won Sebring. He's the reigning IMSA GTD champion. He's won Daytona this year. You know, he's got all the kind of credentials on the wall. Um, so he comes into the European Le Mans series with certainly with a lot of credentials. However, he doesn't know the circuits uh, and he doesn't know the car. Um, so that he's got a lot of learning to do. Well, one thing I will say, we've had Zach on the show. He's a really nice guy. One thing is for sure about Zach is that he's super intelligent. He's super quick and he will pick up and he's spent time alongside Porsche factory drivers before he's, he won the IMSA championship with Lawrence Vantor. So he'll be like a sponge. He won Daytona with Richard Leitz. Mm. So I wonder if Richard's had a say in saying, you know, he's a silver, let's get, let's get him over the pond. 